the NBA players too. Like they they have multiple. Some of them have multiple businesses, but that's what they do. They just get their fucking cash, throw it out there, mm-hmm. invest in it. You know, I mean, T Pain lost all his fucking money. He lost what forty million, I think it was, or some shit like that. And you know, he said bad decisions. That's crazy that. how like all the you know some of these like rich ass millionaires dudes just lose it all. Like just. It comes down to Crazy. bad business choices. I think that's what it is. Drugs. If you maybe. don't, yeah, I feel like yeah. it's not. It's not about the money you 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 get. If 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 you can be getting, I mean, twenty thousand dollars a year, or you can be getting two hundred thousand dollars a year. If you're not spending it correctly, you know, yeah. back the, the 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 guy that fucking has twenty thousand, he's gonna have more money than you at the end of the year. Yeah, because you're just fucking it up. Back in the day, when I was like, man, if I win the lotto with two million, I'm set. This and that. And I thought it was like, just get the million and that's it. You're going to live. But now that I know more of the business side, it's like, no, you got to find ways to multiply it and keep it growing because that shit can just. Grow. I don't even like, think you can live a life like with fucking two million, you know, all your life. Nah. Fuck no. No, no. I did. Definitely. The cost of living keeps going up and it's just like, yeah, it's not. To make a million dollars at McDonald's, did you know it was 40 years? You have to work 40 years at McDonald's to make a million dollars. Damn, that's- woman. 40 uh shit, i don't know yeah i read about it 40 years uh 40 to make a million so anybody can be a millionaire At Target, it's 25 years. damn you just throw a number out there <laughs> give me a, i mean uh, uh, fuck this i quit the fencing company let's make a target <laughs> yeah that, yeah i don't think <laughs> i don't think that's even possible even working at mcdonald's i mean can you have a regular yeah, yeah, life yeah you did, at McDonald's? definitely <laughs> for real huh oh, I, don't, I don't so in five years you have to make two hundred thousand, and then five divided by that like yeah like forty thousand forty thousand so, a year that would be it forty thousand a year as a regular employee working at mcdonald's i can have a like i can have a car yeah. payment house payment and all that shit. fuck no you can't. that's what i'm saying that's like but you'll make a million dollars though you'll make a million dollars working 40 years at mcdonald's Store manager, employee, you're yeah. a soldier, you're a foot soldier. And that's what they're saying. Like, if they know you good, they won't promote you because no, if they can make the same money, they can pay you the same money to do the same shit, yes. they'll do that. Yeah. Or oh, maybe yeah. give you like a fucking 50 yeah. cent raise or some <sighs> shit. Ooh, maybe he's always gotta, gotta fucking them. knocking something down, huh? Fuck, man. Yeah, for, for real. That's, that's what it is. That's when you gotta bounce. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, definitely when you gotta bounce. But, I mean... Yeah, fuck all that bullshit, man. I don't, I don't. Nah. Fuck the corporate shit, huh? Nah. It's, <laughs> it's nah. Yeah. My they, manager, bro, she was crazy. She was literally in there every day of the week, Monday through Sunday. That's yeah, that's, seven, eight, nine in the morning till ten at night. That's how it is, man. Like I have a client, his, his aunt has nail shops, and she's there from. But you gotta be like that. I don't know, man. But I don't it, think but, so. Nah, I don't. Nah, I think no. if it's in a corporate level, I don't think it. You just like, you just you're you're just you got to do something. Else. You just don't. I mean, you haven't unleashed your potential. You probably don't believe in yourself because, I, bro. I had I when I was when I was getting my passport, I was at the post office and I sat down there and there was an old lady with a Chick Fil A suit. Yeah. But I still wouldn't. I mean, how are you gonna be there every day, nine okay. in the morning to ten at night? You have you a to have example. you go out, do right. something. Let me with give your you life a perfect example. The when I used to work at Cox, by Cox, there's a burger that's called Ed Ed Burgers or some shit like that. He owns that place, but he's there every single day from open to close. Now, when I ask him, like, do you have any other, uh, you know, locations or anything? He just has that one. He stuck to there, and it's like I feel like he never, like, never gets a break, never goes out, never looks to like yeah. expand, get bigger. But that probably makes him happy, though, you know. Well, I mean, I, he did not yeah, look happy, yeah, man. Based on that m- customer service, he so gave me shit. Like, though, is that he's exclusive. Ted's burgers, <laughs> or not Ted's burgers, Nick's burgers, right? Yeah, One of the top burgers. five in the country for burgers. 
I bet you Nick is there from open to close. Yeah. Granted, he has one of the most uh, so up and coming more. You want legacy or you want money? I mean, like, you can have both. Exactly. I want so legacy. With these modern pop shops, I think you can have both. You can definitely have both. Yeah, yeah, you can have both, man. Like I wouldn't. Like that from next May at some point. Corporate, I think. I think whenever you open up a corporate chain of fast or of uh, food, your your style kind of goes down. There's a maybe. A right, that that the authenticity goes away. It, correct, correct. Uh, compared to a uh, a startup shop, or not a startup shop, but like a your original hometown. You know, mom and pop shop that opened up that keeps it authentic because they're all so self driven and they're so invested into that one location compared to thousands of you know different locations. McDonald's yeah, basically to, that, uh, the place like that is focused on the quality of the burgers, correct? As opposed to like the, the quantity. Of shit that they can get out the and it's like you said, maybe at the end of the day, that's what makes them happy. Um, I mean. I feel like it's kind of like, eh, it's it's cool, but I mean, I would love to expand and do bigger things because yeah. at the end of the day, one of my goals is to travel the world, and I want to do that while I'm young, man, while I don't have wrinkles and shit. So that's that's another.